Mm. Hello, <coughs> my name is Linda Lee, and here is a project for the um, pattern recognition and um, intelligence course, and um, which was taught by doc Dr. Dapon Oliver Wu, and um, compared with those um, compared with present use um, complex theories or um, use. Vedanan's words, I prefer to demo my work first. It is a real, 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 real app built on the Android platform. It has a lot of functions, and I will show you later. First is that it, it can select the images in the database. Mm, you can put a lot of images in the database. It, it is the Clouding database, which was um, published by the Facebook, named Parse. Here is the basic view of the Parse. It has the ID, the file name, and different file view, different image view points to different users. The users only have its own authorities to access the image belong to them, and that me to. It has choose the image to, to do the demo. And maybe I prefer to choose the famous image in the imaging process in history. And here is the four basic function of this of my work. Mm, actually I must concede that the separator and filter these two functions is already done in the imaging pro diving and computer vision course and the feature extraction and face detection and face recognition is finished by myself for this course but but these functions are connected together because by the pro pre-processing of the image to make it smoothing and remove the influence of light or the noise we can do the feature extraction and face detection so by the help of filter and separator we can do our current job so let's see the feature extraction mm -hmm. there are two basic functions which is gray histogram and RGB histogram it is show us the color distribution of the image but note the note reflect the space position of the color. So here is a quantification quantification of the image. Mm. Yeah, here is the data, the data about the color movement. Mm. It shows us the the three level moment of the image the mean moment the variance moment and the screwness moment it can reflect the color feature of the image and let's sh let us show you the data uh, here is the four functions of feature extraction and also there are some other features I, I will show you later on the PowerPoint because the features mm, the, the features the amount of the, uh, the features number is too big to show you on the Android platform so let's back to the face detection part and, uh, and let's, let's test Let's, let, uh, let me demo you this function. Oh, my computer is really slow. So sorry for this. Uh, oops, 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 oops. Uh, uh, here is the PowerPoint. And here is a basic view of my work. You can see the structure of this app clearly. 
why it took so long time. You can see the memory utilized is reached the 80%, so it is very slow. Because I have opened Eclipse, the Android, the debug. Yeah, as to detect, you will find that there is no response. Why? Because actually, my this detection algorithm is really weak. So, it need you have enough eye feature. It will detect the eyes first. So it means that for this image, the feature of eyes is not obvious enough. So, we need to change some other some other images. So let's choose this beautiful girl. I can show you. Do the face detection. She's as is really big and beautiful. So okay. It's already done. And let us change some other some other pictures. Just this face detection. Done. And let us choose the last picture do the demo. Also the same person but in different pictures do the face detection detect. Okay. So also it can do the separator. Start what shade. Yeah, this is in my segment by the what shade algorithm and filter. This is Gaussian pair filter to remove the noise. So here is a basic demo of the of the in my segment segment image feature de feature de extraction, especially the color feature extraction and face recon face recognition. But at this stage if we have the enough data related with the image features, I was consider why can why can why can I find why can I recognize the different picture which take by one person, such as this girl. We can see that There are so many different pictures, pictures related with her, related with her, yeah, yeah. If we extract, use the imagine seg segment technology to extract her face out, her face out from the background, and we can calculate, calculate the features of only of her face, can we recognize that this girl from the other pictures also, also related with her? Can we use can we use our program to to find find her from the new new images? So how can we do that? Mm. The first thing I thought is neural network neural network. After training the data, the aim is this girl, and there are different data related with different images, but all point to this person. If we train with di different data in different pictures, maybe our neural network can recognize her in the new picture. I do it in the ecl Eclipse and didn't integrated in the Android platform because there are huge amount of works for me to do. Uh, it is quite actually this project is really quite complex and all the works are done by, by myself. And let, let me show you. Here is the actually this is the this is the rate hit rate of the of this Program. This program is continuously recognizing the different, different pictures, different pictures. Actually, the imagine feature data are, are 
store in this field. All these numbers are related with the feature numbers, such as color moment, color confluence, vector. And we use this data to train our neural network. But actually, the mis the hit rate is not not good. Only nearly half of the training it is stabilized in the half. It is not good. I will improve it later. And let me show after. Let me show you the basic view of the whole project. Mm, I already finished the demo, so. Just uh, this is a course about the pattern recognition in, in image intelligence, and here is the whole structure of my app. Yeah, it has include different parts, and the first thing I have done is the image feature extraction. First is the color moment. Color moment is a simple but efficient method to represent the image color features due to the color information is always di distributed in the low level moment so it is enough for us to represent the color distribution by the mean moment, wireless moment and screwness moment and the merit is that we don't need quantification of data space information and here is the the color moment feature then next because it cannot show us the space features spa color space features and the efficiency is quite low so i use the next <coughs> judgment with a color con concurrence vector the color concurrence vector is one of quite complex histogram improvement algorithm. It will, it will help every color cluster, it will divide every color cluster into two parts, uh, well, we, which are aggregate and no aggregated. In the process of imagining similarity comparison, compute the similarity separately, then combine the results to get the new value. Here is the 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 standardness of thread thresholding value for me to divide the color coherence vector and here is the result and then and here is the process of the how can i get the color coherence vector we need to read the image we need to quantification the image we need to mark the every pixel we need to do the bright first tra travels, and then we need to compare the value of the same color with the thresholding and divide them into concurrence vector and concurrence vector. And then, as the next feature is color co correlogram. It's another expression of color di distribution that only describes the pro portion of the of one color in the whole image also reflects the space relationship of one color and I divide the image into 32 space uh, here is only a part of them yeah 60 space 60 space 60 the value of, of 60 space actually it contains 32 space and here is the process of color cor correlogram we need to read the image for each pixel in, in the image, calculate the auto correlation possibility and divide the accumulation value with the total pixels of one color, then calculate the result, do the loop, finally get the result. And here is a color histogram, it's mostly used in matching color features, it only concerns the color proportion in value matching, not concern position relations of each color pixel. Here is a color HSV histogram. Here is a gray histogram. And here are all the features I collect. And by the help of these features, I can do the jobs of, of this code.
which is part of recognition and intelligence. The first milestone is face detection. How can I detect the the face in one image? How can I capture it? Use the color gradient of the others. Actually, I use I use I first capture the eye features in this image, and then by the eye features, I will draw the scope of the whole face. And actually, this algorithm is quite complex. So. I have explained the whole theory on my report, and you can check the source code. It is really clear. And what I want to explain is the most significant part of the whole project. It is the neural network. Here is a simple BPN neural network. Actually, the input is the data. Of different pictures, but for the same person, and these pictures are interactive training inside with the layers with the neurons, and here is um, there is actual figure you can we can see that it is unstabilized because actually I must concede my neural network is not good because all the codes. It's right by myself, and I have published it on my GitHub. You can view it. And actually, I have modify the neural network. Here is the basic view. Here is the weight. Actually, all the data must calculate with the weight. And here is the logistic neural, and here is the output date. After after calculate with the output date, if the result is beyond the threshold, we will regard this image actually is the face of that person. If it's below the image, we, we will regard it, it as a different person. And each time when we finish one time interact, the network would compare the feedback result of two different active functions automatically, automatically then return the optimal result dynamically. So I will improve it later and I think it is great. And here is the result. And that's all. Thank you.